Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today. It's the 3rd of May 2024. Mike Smith in Analytical Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw a strong session for US equities as the dust settled on the previous day's Federal Reserve interest rate action. We've got more big earnings and big data due today. We did also see Apple surge 6% in after hours trading following their earnings report, which, as with most tech sectors, was released after market close. Consequently, we are seeing US futures higher in early Asian trading. Asian equity markets generally following that US lead, but a bit of caution coming into the weekend. We are seeing the ASX about 0.6% higher with all sectors trading positively this morning. And of course, Euro futures pointing to a positive open after those Labor Day closes earlier in the week. Things have now balanced out and we're looking forward to a move to the upside when they open this afternoon. US dollar index dropped through support overnight. We were expecting commodities to bounce in this event, but we didn't see that. We saw gold soft, uh, but held over that critical psychological 2300 level. Copper continued to pull back from two-year highs despite a positive start today. It's dropped a little bit in the European session. And oil also looked weak, threatening the next support, but managing to hold on following the previous day's pullback. Bitcoin bounced off February levels after selling off in the early part of the week. We are seeing some more positivity in Asia today, but it, it could all be a bit of end of week profit take. It'd be interesting to see what happens over the next few days in cryptos generally. Earnings, of course, remain in focus, but on the data front, it's the non fire payrolls tonight. That's the day, and in fact, the week's highlight outside of the Fed rate decision. Australian PMI numbers are out today. They are slightly softer. It is the services numbers, which is not as important as the manufacturing. We've also got similar out of the UK and the US later. And just to add to the mix, we've got some Eurozone jobs this afternoon. So plenty for the market to digest still. But we are anticipating a potentially positive end to the week at this stage. A couple of charts of core RI. On the ASX, we're liking the look of Pilbara Minerals. We're seeing a breach of 418, which looks very positive. We'd sort of earmarked around 415 as a key level. Uh, you can see we've pushed through that and we are eyeing a potential move up back towards uh, this 450 level. That would be a very, very healthy return of around about 8% if it makes it up that high. May get a pause about halfway up, but that looks pretty good. Looks as though the interest is back in lithium and the charts are telling us so. In the FX world, we're liking the, the euro yen. We've got a bit of work to do on this before it triggers a potential entry to the upside uh, of 164.88. But we have been trading in this range now for the last few hours. So it's one of these that could go either way. If it goes to the downside, through 164.21, we see it possibly getting stuck at around about 163.80. So around about 40 pips to the downside. If we breach 164.88, and arguably you could even trade the bounce off this for a swift 60 pips, there's a higher probability trade above that as well. So the euro yen has lots of potential price action going on today. One really worth keeping an eye on. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.